Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading an Arlequin Oxysinar by me. So let's get into it. The streets of Nijinaya were bustling with life. A stark contrast to the cold, often isolating landscape that surrounded the nation. You were doing your best to keep a low profile, blending in with the crowd as you moved through the marketplace. But today was different. Today, you had a goal to accomplish, a mission that required the utmost discretion and a partner whose reputation preceded her. You were waiting for the knave, otherwise known as the knave, or Lucino. And she was enigmatic and fearsome as the rumors suggested. Rumors about her were widespread after all. Some said she was merciless. Others claimed she had a soft spot for children. You had yet to decide which side of the stories you believed. But if there was one thing you knew, is that all exaggerated stories and legends were truthful in the beginning. There was a semblance of truth in every rumor, and you just had to know what it is. You spotted her approaching, her distinctive mask making her easy to recognize, even from a distance. She moved with grace, and you couldn't tell but feel a mix of excitement and apprehension. After all, your mission today was very special. One of a kind, if you could say. Something you didn't actually see repeating. And it was scary a little bit, having to work so close to her. But, you were focused, and you had a goal in mind, and you were not going to let anything shake you. You're late, she said, as she reached you, her voice devoid of any warmth. Sorry, you replied, keeping your tone casual. There was a bit of a crowd at the entrance, you know. She gave a small, almost imperceptible nod. Shall we get this started then? Remember, the goal is to gather information on the merchant, not to cause a scene. She says sharply, and you find yourself nodding. Right, but to remind me again why we are pretending to be a couple... You ask, hoping that this is not the end of your life when you ask her something so silly, especially just as you're about to go inside. And their eyes narrow slightly. Because it's the best way to avoid suspicion. Now, hold my hand and try to look convincing. She says. He took her hand. The gesture feeling awkward at first. But as you walked together, you could sense the tension easing. The marketplace was lively, filled with the sounds of haggling merchants, and the scents of various foods wafting through the air. All right, so what's our plan? You asked, trying to focus on the task at hand. Simple, she replied. We blend in, gather information. And leave without drawing attention. Stick close to me and follow my lead. She said. And you couldn't say anything to that. You always trusted our Lucina to be able to do things. So the only thing that you had to say. Or do in this case. Was to nod and agree. And you did nod. Your heart racing slightly. Despite her reputation. There was something oddly reassuring about having Arlequino as your partner. Perhaps it was the fact that she was strong, or dependable, or many other things. But right now, he just knew it was reassuring. And as he moved through the marketplace, he noticed people giving you curious glances. Some seemed to recognize Arlequino, their eyes widening in surprise. Or fear, but no one ever dared to approach. Look, she whispered, pointing discreetly towards the well-dressed merchant. That's our target. We need to find out who he's been meeting with and why. 
Got it, he whispered. I'll handle the distraction, and you get the information. You say, smiling slightly. And she nodded in return, a faint smile playing on her lips. Good, just don't get caught, she whispered. And you approach the merchant, putting on your most charming smile. Excuse me, sir, but do you help me with something? He looks up, momentarily distracted. Of course, what do you need? And as you engaged him in conversation, you saw her looking to move gracefully behind them, her eyes scanning the documents on his table. You kept the merchant's attention on you, asking questions about his wares, and feigning interest in his stories. And after a few minutes, Arlequino gave you a subtle signal. She had what she needed, and you thanked the merchant and walked away, your heart pounding loudly within your chest. Well, you ask once you're out of earshot. He has been meeting with someone from Lewe, she said, her voice low. We need to find out more, but for now, this is a good start. Great. Then, um, what next? You reply, feeling a sense of accomplishment and nervousness all the same. We give up the act, she said, a mischievous glance in her eyes. It seems to be working after all. You couldn't tell but laugh. All right then, lead the way, my dear. And as you continued your investigations, you found yourself growing more comfortable with her. Despite her icy demeanor, she was an excellent partner, and together you made a formidable team. Hours passed, and the two of you gathered more information. Slowly, piecing together the puzzle, and by the time the sun began to set, he felt confident that you had what he needed. That was surprisingly fun. Fun? That's not usually how people describe missions with me. Well, you were a lot more pleasant than I expected. You said with a grin, maybe you're not as scary as everyone says. Or looking to smirk at that. Don't get too comfortable. Next time it might not be so easy. You chuckled, feeling a newfound respect for the enigmatic harbinger. And as you parted ways, you couldn't help but wonder what other adventures lay ahead. One thing was certain you were looking forward to finding out, especially if it meant working alongside Arlequina again.